Hey everybody, happy lunch break, happy Wednesday. Um, just gonna give everybody a second to see and hop on. She's out in the water. Hello. All right, let me move my computer so I can see. Hi everybody, hi Angela. Right, people are hopping on. Hope you guys' Wednesday is going good. Hope everybody's checked their drill down, make sure that their rank is locked in for this week. Um, and I'm so excited to share with you guys my journey to $1,000 a week and what that really looks like. Um, I'm gonna wait another minute or two for everybody to hop on. Hi, everybody. Hi, Marissa. Hi, Josephine. Has this group not been like just the most amazing thing all week like every time I watch a video I feel like I could like jump off of a rooftop and fly <laughs> it's just so cool to get to you know have everybody there just sharing all their behind the scenes and insight I love that kind of stuff for me when I was a new coach um, anytime I got to like peek behind the curtain of like someone else's business I was so excited like I felt like I just got like this special insider access. So groups like this, I just love them. And I'm hoping to do that for you today. Okay, we've got about 25 people-ish here today. Hi Beth, hi Kristen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in because I wanna honor everybody's time and I know some of you guys might be on your lunch break. And anybody who misses it can watch the recording later. So I am Becca Robinson, for those of you guys who I haven't met before. And um, I am a 13 star diamond coach and I'm, <coughs> excuse me, going to be talking to you guys today about what exactly it looks like to get to a thousand dollars a week because you know in the last week and a half in this group you've learned all about mindset and belief and um, some strategy things with placement uh, but you guys may be like well that's all great and now I feel empowered but like how long is this going to take? What am I going to need to do? And I, that's the way my brain works. Like I'm a super Ruby personality. I'm very business minded. I want to know like, but what do I have to aim for? Like, what is my target? Um, because I will do it, you know, like if someone's like, you need to have this many people on this side and this many people on that side, I would be like, got it done. Like, let's do this. So in case you're like me and you kind of need that target to aim for, I wanted to share with you a little bit about my story. So I got started as a coach in the early fall of 2013 and so 2014 was my first full year as a working coach and that was the year actually that I did all of the groundwork and building to get to a consistent thousand dollars a week. Now I know for most people a thousand dollars a week that's like your freedom number, right? Like that's the number that's a you consider a safe full-time income that you know could retire your spouse or that could let you not have to go get another job or that may allow you to leave your job. So this is a big goal number for a lot of people, right? Like for me, this was the number that meant that I could back out of my photography business and you know, our family would be okay financially. So I was highly motivated to get to this point. But you know, with team bonus cycles and volume and so many things that are out of your control, it can seem very abstract when you're like, okay, I know I wanna get to $1,000 a week, but what do I do to get there? Do I just randomly add a bunch of coaches? Like, what am I aiming for? So in case that's you, I wanted to share. So I saw in the comments of a couple of videos that some people were like, oh, I didn't realize that team bonus cycles played such a big part in um, a coach's income. And absolutely, that is huge. And that is how most coaches that build, you know, steady full-time incomes are doing it because team bonus cycles are like that solid residual income. Um, so I caught like about a year or two ago, I made this chart for my team that shows the difference um, in 2015, my whole year, of my commissions versus my team bonus cycles. And I wanted to show this to you guys. Can you guys see it? This is how much I love you, you guys. I went into Photoshop and flipped all my graphics so that they would um, be the right angle for you to read. Okay, can you see? So this squiggly line here is my commissions and these blue lines are my team bonus cycles through all of 2015. So each one of these is a month. Okay, so this can show you the power 
of team bonus cycles, right? So we're all only one person. Um, even the best salesman is limited to hours in the day to how many people he can talk to. So if you're building your business on commissions, you know, you're gonna be limited just because you're one person. But if you are building your business on a combination of retail commissions and team bonus cycles, then you really have room for some exponential growth because now you're leveraging yourself over an entire team. It's kind of the way that I like to think about it. Um, and obviously, your team's success becomes your success. So it's not enough to just recruit coaches. You have to actually help them become independent business owners themselves. So this kind of shows you, you know, I may have had a really good commission month here and then a lower commission month here. And for a long time, my commissions brought in more income than my team bonus cycles. And this is hugely important in what I'm going to talk about today because I fully believe that getting your business to that consistent $1,000 a month paycheck is the absolute hardest time you're going to have building. It's going to require maximum belief. It's going to require maximum resiliency. You are going to be faced with lots of moments where you feel like this just isn't going to happen for me. I'm not attracting the right kind of people. You're going to have lots of self-doubt and you're going to have to just dig your heels in and push through because this is hard because the numbers are going to feel like, you know, they're telling you that team bonus cycles aren't going to happen, but the numbers are lying. You just have to wait. This is where the compound effect comes into play. This is why I think every coach should read The Slight Edge as one of the first books they ever read in their coaching career because this is The Slight Edge in practice, right? So it starts out small. These are my TBCs starting out small. I had still a small team at that point, right? And then, you know, oh, we had a really good week of the month. Then they dropped back down. My commissions were still bringing in more money. And commissions, they're all me. They're all you, right? They're your customers, your retail, your challenge groups. Um, but then look what happened. About halfway through the year, that, six, that slight edge compound effect started to happen. And my team bonus cycles beat my commissions in a month. And then again the next month by even more. And then again the next month by even more. And then look in December. This is where my retail commissions were. This is where my income from team bonus cycles was. So you can really see why it's so important to, you know, have this as part of your building strategy if you really want to make a solid income. And getting to $1,000 a week, that's a solid income. Like, that is $50,000 a year income. That's like a really good salary. So <clears throat> a couple of things before I launch into this. Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success with the Team Beachbody coaching opportunity. It depends on every coach's time, diligence, skill. You can look up all of the details about in that in the statement of independent earnings in the coach online office. All right. That being said, and hopefully this is evident by my talk today that it is absolutely your own diligence and skill and not giving up. I want to show you exactly in my business what it looked like as my income grew okay so in case you're like me and you're like that's great but like how big was your team how many leaders did you have and you guys heard from Brittany Leggett and you heard from Lindsay Stay and they were talking about you know there's not like a set number we can't tell you you need this amount of emeralds and this amount of diamonds because it really depends on how much each person is doing you could have an emerald who's just killing it retailing bringing in tons of volume for you that's really helping your bonus cycles or you could have an emerald that's like your aunt and your mom and you know they're not doing anything so there's not a magic number so as I show you these I want you to use this as kind of a barometer but I don't want you to use this as a hard and fast rule just kind of to show you how my team grew in 2014 as I went all the way up to a thousand dollars a week okay start in the beginning January I was a diamond coach let's see I'd been a coach October November December this was like four months into my coaching career can you guys see this I don't know. Okay, good. You can see. I have, like, chat on top of mine. Um, I was earning, like, on average $50 a week in TBCs. I had three personally sponsored Emerald coaches, and on average, I had two personally sponsored coaches in Success Club. Not too bad, right? Like, I mean, that's that's a coach who's working, but, like, it's nothing crazy. Um, and the, mo the majority of my income during this time still came from my retail commissions. This was January, my first full year as a coach, 2014. All right. Let's skip ahead to June and July. Now there was a big growth boom because I looked at 2014 and I said, by the end of this year, 
I want to be there. I want to be at that income goal. I had that goal for myself. It was on my vision board. I had talked to my mentor about it. She knew she was helping me really focus on leadership and talking about the business opportunity and helping new coaches get started strong when they got started, all of those things. And in um, May, I did a huge focus on building my team. So I watched Eric Worre's GoPro video on recruiting um, 30 people in 20 days, and I used some of those principles, and I got creative, and I really shifted my focus. You know how they say what you focus on expands, or you know, like attracts like, what you're putting out there is what you're going to get? I started putting out there very seriously that I was it was time to build my team. I was looking for people who wanted to do this business, who wanted to lock arms with me, who wanted to run... Um, and I was completely unapologetic about it. So all my stuff on Facebook was talking about, you know, my team and what we were doing and my vision and all that kind of stuff. And I recruited, I think, like 25 new coaches um, in the second half of May, the beginning of June. So this was where stuff really started to shift. And, you know, up until that point, I had been fairly consistently adding, you know, like five-ish coaches a month. Um not necessarily all business builders, but, you know, growing kind of steadily. But this was a big momentum boom because success likes speed, right? And sometimes we need those big pushes and momentum to kind of give our business a little kickstart. So um, in June and July, all of those new coaches that I had recruited were starting to learn. So my TBC started to go up. And throughout June and July, they were averaging like $300. I had five PS Emerald coaches. A bunch of those coaches that I had added in May were now starting to take off, and they were starting to build their businesses. And on average, I had about seven coaches in Success Club. So um, my little fledgling team was working. And this is a huge thing because I think a lot of people think it's just about the number, but it's also about the quality. So I could have recruited... 30 coaches who are all discount coaches who never did anything and it wouldn't have made a very big impact long term in my business but a lot of the coaches that I recruited in this little push went on to become some of my diamond coaches later in the year and are now still some of the best leaders on my team um, so I was looking for people who were quality and I was very focused on helping them start right and discover their why and kind of plan out their year so that they could build successful businesses too. It wasn't just about recruiting to me. It was about um, growing my team in a very real way and helping them find success. So that was June or July. That was when stuff started to shift, right? But still only $300 a week in team bonus cycles. Okay, let's skip ahead to after that summit. And in October of 2014, I was still a diamond coach, but now my coaches were all growing. So I had um, 10 PS Emerald coaches, but a lot of them were en route to diamond. I was doing um, an Emerald to diamond kind of momentum mastermind push group, and I was you know, really encouraging those girls, and a lot of them found success partners with each other. Some of them may be laughing because they're in this group, and I'm talking about them right now. Um, but they all, you know, paired off, and they were all encouraging each other, and the energy was amazing in our team at this time. It was all so fresh and new, and everyone was excited to be going up to that next level. So even though I was still just a diamond coach, I had a lot of coaches who were working, okay? So my TBCs started to move up, to about $600 a week. So now when I added in my commissions, I was getting close to that three that uh, $1,000 a week. That was really exciting. And I think I even broke it um, one week at the end of October or November um, when you added in all my commissions and, you know, like the match, matching bonus and um, fast start bonus and all those things. But for the sake of this conversation, I want to focus on getting to $1,000 a week in TBCs because TBCs are what are more steady as far as your income goes. So, um, you know, commissions can vary week to week of the month. And so if we focus on just TBCs, you're building a more solid income over time. All right. Now things start to get real exciting. Okay. So I was making a, a push for the end of the year. I wanted to, I was actually pushing for elite and I ended up premier. So in November and December of 2014, I ended up as a two-star diamond coach and my TBCs were up around on average eight to eight fifty a week. So I had, let's see, can you guys see? Oh no, it cut it off. I had 10 PS Emerald coaches, two diamond coaches, 
And on average, about seven coaches in Success Club at any given time, <laughs> any given month. <laughs> so as you can see, this is when stuff kind of started to take a shift because my diamonds were really working, building their team, and I had a whole bunch of emeralds who were building as well. I didn't just have emeralds that had, you know, two family members. I had emeralds who were business builders and who were doing stuff. So now around this time was when my, my total income started hitting $1,000 a week when you added in my commissions. All right. So now we're starting to see that compound effect happening. Remember though, this took a year. My first one I showed you was January, and at that point I'd already been coaching for four months, um, you know, getting challengers going and a few coaches and um, that momentum going. So if you're here and you're like frustrated because you're not there yet, remember that this takes time, right? You can't build a giant business overnight and if you could it wouldn't be a very good business right like we're building real businesses here and so it does take time and consistency and this wasn't just a year of me doing the bare minimum this wasn't me hitting success club five me maybe recruiting a coach a month um me maybe leading trainings and maybe leading challenge groups this was a year of max effort on my part i went all in you guys i um, was hitting over Success Club 10. I was trying to recruit every month. I did a couple of those recruiting pushes, none as big as the one in, um, in May, like that first one, but I did a couple more throughout the year. And I was hugely dedicated to my team and helping them get started right. I had, you know, little push groups and trainings and all kinds of stuff. I was really dug in alongside them. We were all growing side by side, all running together. Okay, now... This is when stuff started to get really fun. 2015, my second full year as a coach. So between the end of 2014 and March of 2015, I had three more coaches go diamond. So remember I was telling you I had all those emeralds, but a lot of them were actually building. And this was when my paychecks started to get consistently over $1,000 a week in TBCs. So I wanted to show you what that looked like on my team. I was five-star diamond coach. Oh my goodness. What did that say? I think it said 16 PS Emerald coaches, five diamonds. Um, I had a second business center at that point. So my PS Emeralds were spread between the two different business centers. And I had an average of 13 coaches hitting success club. So just showing you that I had a team that was working. So hopefully this is giving you guys a little bit of insight. Like, okay, I need leaders and I need, you know, emeralds that are not just discount emeralds that are really doing something. Um, because that's what grows your volume, right? It's not just a bunch of empty ranks. It's a bunch of people who are working. So um, I wanted to share just as I'm closing up because I know it's been a little bit already and I want to make sure I don't make any of you guys late um, getting back to work if you're on your lunch break. But this is um, something that is going to require a lot of belief and a lot of mindset. So the biggest mistake that I watch coaches make when they're trying to build to an income goal like this is they quit before they get there. That's literally the number one mistake I see people make. Number two is they think that it's all about numbers and rank and not about people who are producing, right? Like it doesn't matter how many diamonds you have if they're full, if their diamonds are full of discount coaches and nobody's doing anything. It doesn't matter how many emeralds you have if none of those coaches are hitting success club, right? It has to be a team that is working, right? So this is definitely the hardest part of building because this is when you are putting the foundation under your entire coaching business. This March income, comp so it took me, let's see, um, August to August would have been 12, September, October, November, December, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17. This is 19 months into my coaching career. Now remember, I was going all in all 19 of those months. I didn't like dabble for a while. I didn't start, stop, start, stop. So if you're here and you're like, I've been around longer than 19 months, don't freak out. This was 19 months of max effort. Um, but I just want to say by the summer of this year, 2015, my income had already gone up to almost $2,000 a week. So this is where you start to see the compound effect come into play, but getting there is the hardest part. It takes time. You're laying a foundation. You are getting all of the coaches in there. You are getting them started right. You are teaching them how to be leaders. You're teaching them what to do when they sign up their own coaches. You're teaching them how to duplicate. And then they're going to go and duplicate. You are literally laying the foundation for generations of successful coaches on your team. So if you are in that um, no man's land, I actually, I called it like 
purgatory. I think one time um, I was messaging Lindsay Matway. She's my sponsor. And I was like, I feel like I'm stuck in this no man's land where my income has not grown to where I want it to. And I have all these coaches. They're working, but it's just not there yet. And she was like, just be patient. Just give it time. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't take your foot off the gas. And it does feel like that sometimes. It can feel like you're just in this no man's land space where your goals aren't happening and you're feeling frustrated and maybe some of your coaches quit. Um, but it is up to you to continue to keep that mindset of I'm laying the foundation for my entire business. The coaches that I was training this year that I um, grew my business to $1,000 are the leaders on my team right now. Like my top coach was one of the coaches who was being developed during this year. And her team is now learning all of the things that she learned when she was learning from me this year. So you have to think about it with that long-term mentality, like really invest in building a solid team, really invest in helping your coaches get started and really learning how to duplicate and really learning how to be good coaches and not just focus on numbers or getting people to a certain rank because that's not that's not the deciding factor. You don't just need X amount of diamonds. You don't just need X amount of emeralds. You need people who have vision and who are working and who are moving with momentum and who are passionate and who are building themselves and that who are going to then take that and pay it forward to the next line and the next line because the crazy wealth growth that you've seen, Lindsay's been posting these graphics where, where she shows you TBCs over time where people are just making like crazy amounts of money each week in team bonus cycles, that's from success multiple levels down. That's from the, their leaders teaching leaders and those leaders teaching leaders and those leaders teaching leaders. So remember, when you're stuck in this muck and you're feeling like it's not going to happen, just remember that you are putting investments in your future payoffs like a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, and never, never, never give up. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments.